fluid some arms and then I reckon we'll be sorted maybe just a bolt check as well um, yeah that'll be it we'll get stuck into it I'll show you the stuff we're gonna put in and we'll go from there weather is average which is coming out of winter of course so we're gonna have to make it do but here's all the stuff we got power steering I have a power steering leak here for too long and I just haven't found the hoses to replace it. Well, actually, I found them, just they weren't in stock. OEM hoses um, return and supply to the reservoir. So we'll replace those, we'll replace some clamps. Um, we've got some GK Tech high clearance caster arms. I found that my current arms rubber my wheels at full lock because they're not clearance, they're just straight. So what these do is they, instead of being straight, which my current arms are, they, you know, allow clearance for the wheel. It's a must have, especially for a drift car, so we'll chuck those in. I reckon we'll start with the messy job, our steering. We'll get all this out of the way, suck as much fluid out as we can so we don't make a mess. Replace those lines, probably put the car up in the air, do these bad boys. I reckon we'll do some diff oil too, because that's well overdue. And do a bulk check and we'll be sweet. Alright, let's get stuck into it. something that's been leaking oil onto itself for ages would be easy to get off but if you're wrong so we're gonna give this a good clean obviously we'll chuck everything on and start bleeding the system now the type of fluid I've gone with is Penrides power steering fluid as long as it is ATF Dextron 2 or 3 specified on it um, it'll be fine to bleed the system you just top it up Put the car in the air and just turn the wheels left to right uh, with the car off first and then on until all the bubbles and stuff go out so so just cycling the fluids while it's hot i've already done it while it was cold up in the air we'll just turn the wheel back and forth a couple times split the system make sure it's not making any weird noise or cavitating or anything and you should be sweet top it up and you're done now i can move on to these things and we'll show you how to do that. So you can see here my Hydrace caster arm. You can already see where the inner part of my wheel has been rubbing. This GK Tech arm here which you can see has a lot more clearance for the wheel. Alright so we have the arm set up as best as I can. It's kind of hard because they're different shapes and whatnot and these holes are a slightly different diameter these. Um, I reckon I got it pretty close, so I guess we'll chuck them in and adjust from there. Always make sure these are facing outwards, so like the bigger spacer is on this side, pointing outwards to the car. So let's chuck them in. I've been having a recurring issue, which you would have seen in a few clips before, that the shifter was actually jumping out of second gear. This is an R32 Nissan Skyline shifter mechanism. This apparently fixes the issue. Now the issue is actually this little bushing here. Now mine has a bushing and I replaced it not that long ago, but apparently the flex in this is what's causing the issue. Now the part numbers between this and the one that's already in there is that if we take this bushing off, which I might need to do with some pliers, this will sit in there without a bushing at all and that'll fix our issue completely. So hopefully we can chuck this in because it's super easy to do and that'll fix our issue. Now, love being under a Nissan. <laughs> tip for young players is you always want to crack the filler plug first. Why do you want to do that? Just in case the drain plug is seized, then you drain all your fluid and you can't get anything back in there. So always crack it first, 
on Nissan's. It's just a half inch socket, so I'd crack out the breaker bar, curse at it because it's too tight, and it was probably put on there by you, so you can curse it yourself. So you can see I cracked the filler and a little bit's coming out. I think I've mentioned how much I dislike gearbox oil. It just stinks. So we've got the drain and filler plugs here. So we'll clean these up. That's draining and um, we'll move on to the inside. Quick brake clean, quick wire wheel um, and I'll just throw some new NTCs on it. You don't need to go crazy, it just helps. Okay, bye bye. Everyone with an S14 or S15 knows these break all the time. Now we've got the shifters side by side, we can actually have a look at the differences. Um, this is obviously the OEM S14 one, and this is an OEM Nissan Skyline R32 one. Now, from here upwards they're identical. The only, the only difference is you can have a look at the difference of the size of the bushing here, which just sits in. Now the trick to this is that if we pull this bushing off, the diameter of just the ball actually fits in the diameter with this, with the bush. So that reduces all the slop. So all the play is actually in this bushing. This is apparently the issue, and you can tell it's really floppy. What we've got to do now is actually just rip this off with a bit of pliers, because we don't need this part here, and we should be good. Got everything ready to go. Um, remove that bushing. I have put a little bit of molly lube just on the end there, just in case. I don't know if you're supposed to, but don't at me. If you wanted to fill your gearbox oil from here, this would be the best time to do it. I'm not going to simply because I don't want to spill gearbox oil in my um, interior and I just don't want it to smell pretty much. It's also a great time to give the top of this a clean just to spot any future leaks. So give it all a good clean as well. You don't want it to be sealed to oil already there because it's just going to slip off. We'll chuck it in, get everything bolted up. I'm not going to bore you with the install process because it's pretty lame. And hopefully, pray to God, this fixes the issue. So it's all in, done. Finally, putting it in, first off, it feels so much more direct now. There's no bushing in between. It it literally feels just solid. It feels great. It feels nice and stiff, which is how I like it. Yeah, it feels great. Um, I don't want to shift too many times without a wheel in there. We'll chuck oil in there first, put this on, see how it feels. So that happened. Yeah, wasn't really how I wanted to end this video, but it appears someone backed into me while my car was parked. And here we are. So I just put the new manifold on and taken it for a drive to my friend's house and yeah, it's parked at the front and someone hit it. So here we are. The damage isn't that bad. Like it's bad enough to annoy me. As you saw in the clips before, it's gonna need a new bonnet, probably new fenders, a new rad support if they can pull it out, new bumper, new lights, new grill. Couple of things here and there, but the insurance company will be sorting that out. The only issue is it's uh, not booked in until the 30th of March is when this will be well, when repairs will begin, pretty much, because they're so backed up. A little bit annoying. I was quite obviously annoyed when it happened. Not so much that it happened, more so that it's just ruined the plans I had for All Japan Day that was coming up and drift events and whatnot that I already had booked in. So there's that, um, and the fact I only just got it working. So that's what makes it annoying, I guess. Things can be fixed, but you know, obviously when these things happen, you're gonna be quite annoyed. Everything was cool with the guy that it happened with, everything got sorted out, and um, I just gave my insurance a call that day and had everything sorted out. So it will be fixed, it's now just a matter of time. So, not really how I wanted to close the video off, but 
it's just things happen, things will be fixed. Um, it looks worse now just because I had to pop the bonnet just to get it open and see, assess the damage. So the next video will actually be something that you, hopefully you guys might be excited for. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get done. So I feel like I can spend my time a little bit on that. Um, and just you got to wait for the next video to see what it is. But that's pretty exciting. It's something I never thought I'd actually get, but I ended up getting. So I'll be restoring it, doing all that kind of stuff. And um, hopefully by the time that's done, the car will be back and um, we can put it on. Um, yeah, in the meantime, there's not really too much else to say. Just kind of what you can So.